Sumo wrestlers eat more than any other athlete on the planet, with some sources saying they eat up to 10 to 12,000 calories in a day. And in case you didn't know, for the average person, the recommended daily caloric intake is like a fifth of that. And despite that, I'm going to spend a day training and eating exactly like a sumo wrestler. As you can imagine, it's it's gonna take a lot of food. So apparently all of these sumo wrestlers eat this thing called chanko nabe, which is like a sumo stew, kind of. Ginger juice, probably not gonna go on the sake, you know, demonetized probably. Six cups of chicken broth, a quarter cup of sake, a third a cup of mirror, and two tablespoons of ginger juice. This all seems normal. And then we get to the stew. Chicken meatballs, six ounces of sliced pork belly, four chicken thighs, 14 ounces of tofu, a pound and a half of cod. It's gonna go into like a, like a soup. It'll be so in then a- cut it up then, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I just want to put this out there, I'm not a cook. I've never ordered from the deli in my life. Napa cabbage, carrots, green onions, scallions, shiitake mushrooms. I don't think I'm even allowed to say shiitake on YouTube. Is it just me or is that like six pounds of meat itself? I've got to eat all this in a day? I didn't go over. Like I didn't get excess stuff. It was 92.75. Holy shiitake. <laughs> so it says here that they start their day with a practice and then they eat their first meal after that workout. Oh, also, I did weigh myself throughout the day, forgot to film some of it. I started off the day at 238 and a half pounds. I wonder what the chankonabi tastes like. Chanko, chankonabi. It's gonna be good, right? It's probably gonna be good. So I should explain. The reason I fairly look like I know what I'm doing is because I've been doing sumo for like a month now. I tried it out in this video right here though. The best part is it's like, it's like seven different types of meat. Chicken meatballs, chicken thighs, pork belly. I just realized it's gonna take me like an hour to cook this food, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Ah. Now, full transparency, I knew it was gonna take me a while to cook, so I had like 100 calories over the jerky oh, on my way home. Definitely gonna be stuff I forget. So from what I understand, this is everything that I need. I don't know how to make any of it. <laughs> this is gonna take some. This pot could be big enough, but it could also be too big. Can pots be too big? I don't think so. Um, this pot is way too big. Dag nabbit. Mirin, ginger juice, and garlic. We'll call it. And a half a cup of white miso. So, I got miso mix. Gather all the meatball ingredients. You're a meatball ingredient. I'll just peel that. Half a pound of ground chicken. Eyeballing it, of course. Two tablespoons of ginger juice. One tablespoon of cornstarch. Six tablespoons of panko. Six. If the spoons are so close in size, do we really need to say if it's a teaspoon or a tablespoon? Just say half of a tablespoon if it's if it's close enough, right? Vegetables. If you're gonna put them into a broth, do you have to clean them? They're just, they're, it's soup. They're just cleaning itself, right? That might be an unpopular opinion. <laughs> You know what's funny? Um, Eric, the guy that I'm gonna be sumoing with later, offered to make this for me. Um, why didn't I do that? Okay, so it is now time to put all of the meat into the bowl. A little hype for this. For these, you just literally make little meatballs. Bloop, blah. I thought that I bought rice, but I, I forgot the rice. I'm so hungry. Uh, we're just gonna wait for this to finish cooking. I'm gonna give it a long time because I don't think I did any of it right. Okay. Moment of truth. So this bowl right here should be about 666 calories. Okay. It's a little hot. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. Oh, there's a chicken meatball. I made that. Here we go, serving number two. 
It doesn't look like the worst thing I've ever cooked, for sure, and it definitely doesn't taste like it. Ha 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 ha. It's too hot now, I'm sweating. Holy smokes. I'm definitely starting to feel full. Um, I'm only on bowl number two. I gotta like stand up or something. This is, this is bowl number three. I don't know if I can eat anymore. It does taste really good, I gotta admit. But what's hard is it like, it's so much food for how many calories it is. There's not that many calories considering I just ate three bowls of it. Um, Bianba says that he takes a nap afterwards because he earned it. So after workout number one and then meal number one, I went from 238.5 to 237.2 after my workout, then up to 242. Dang! <laughs> I actually didn't end up falling asleep. I'm. Is it just me? Is it hard to take naps for anyone else? No. Eric, so first off, <laughs> what's your like sumo accolades? You can brag about yourself a little bit. Oh man. First off, I don't know what accolade means. Accolade. <laughs> oh, nice. See, sumo wrestlers eat a lot through their day, but it's not just to get so, fatter. I was on a USA team, the second tier Olympic essentially. With the amount that sumo wrestlers work out, they have to eat that much every day to just stay the same weight. Yeah. You wanna go hard? All right, let's get the ring. All the articles I've seen online are like 10,000 calories, 20,000 calories. When I was going heavyweight, I was doing six times. Six times a day? Yeah, six times a day. Wow. Yeah, six times a day. Calories, I had to be at least like a thousand, like 1,500, you per, know. Per meal. So the 10,000 is probably not an exaggeration. No, it really isn't, man. Holy smokes. So the relationship sumo wrestlers have with food and working out is not separate. They are essentially one and the same. It is extremes in both. I think that's like a common misconception that a lot of people see sumo and they're like, oh yeah, big, obese people. Yeah. On the internal, if you look around their organs, there's like no fat. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the reason why they look fat is because of the belt. The belt literally pushes your stomach up. I actually do agree up. with that. Yeah. Everybody except for Jared. Yeah. The 50s. Eight, nine, flexing. 1945. <laughs> I, I'm picturing you with like round weights yeah. on the end of your barbell. I eat a lot of meat. Which is exactly what I was on my way home to do. To replenish my body and begin the recovery process after a long and arduous day of kicking my own butt. Although I don't think I was as excited about the meats as Jared was. Still good. So I've got about three bowls of chonko left. Oh, so I went ahead and ordered hibachi. That's a meaty hibachi, goodness. And I might eat one or two of these little cookie dough bite things that I found at Costco, because I've been eating nothing but cabbage and chicken all day. I think I lost about six pounds at sumo for the second session. It's a lot easier to eat it at the end of the day. I'm starving. But I have a feeling after bowl number two, I'm not gonna be feeling this way anymore. It seems like eating for sumo is essentially just trying to get back what you lost during practice, plus putting on a little more weight. See, I love sumo, I think it's incredibly fun, but I don't wanna be incredibly big, so I probably wouldn't eat like this regularly. For the day total, I've done three and a half hours of sumo-based training. Oh, I'm starting to feel it. I'm getting full. Also, I don't think that sumo wrestlers jump into stables and immediately start eating like this. Well, that hit me like a truck. What the heck? Oh. I was not feeling full at all. I was feeling hopeful and super hungry until like halfway through bowl and a half. I don't know if I can, I really don't think I can eat anymore. I gotta like breathe with my tongue out. I'm so full it doesn't have a room for my tongue. 
that's healthy stuff. That's a lot of it too. I'm not gonna promote like eating past your capacity. Plenty of channels will do that. You can go watch them. It's terrible habits to build. I've been somebody who really suffered from that kind of stuff for a long time. I mean, I still do. So I'm not gonna just like play into eating disorder for views, but it's like right here. It's right here. Anyway, sub subscribe. <laughs> I failed. <laughs> a man can only be so strong and can only eat so much. This was me hanging up my cape. Just kidding, baby. I waited like a whole hour and a half and I, was, I ended up being hungry again, so I ate my hibachi. Which makes my total numbers for the day 5,420 calories. And in case you were curious, that is half. That's half of what they eat calorie-wise. I gained five pounds. <sighs> I'm so full.